Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons. This is the third video in the set of videos we're doing that show you how to dress up a site plan. This is a site plan for a lot line adjustment. This is a pro bono or volunteer project we're doing for the uh, local sportsman's club. They're doing a lot line adjustment with the city. So in the last video, we went ahead and added our uh, parcel labels and we also did some hatching on the transfer parcels. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add our UAV ortho photo background and we're going to label some significant features that are near the proposed property lines and throw some dimensions on there for the planners as appropriate. Um, so let's go ahead and get the UAV ortho photography in here. Uh, we do not have a layer created for that yet. So we are going to go in and create a layer for that. We should always have our layers on an XREF. So make a new layer and we'll call it XREF UAV ortho and in my company we always make those layers blue xf layers are blue okay so then we'll go ahead and attach our uav drawing which has already been set up so hopefully this just works okay uh, now we have some we also have some gis photography that, that we can put in behind uh, behind the uav ortho photography that's lower resolution but uh, for now, this will this will give us what we need. All right, sorry about that, guys. My IT guy called. Okay, so what we want to do now in this video is we want to go in and we want to add some feature labels. Okay, so <clears throat> and we're primarily going to focus on labeling things that are uh, along the proposed lot lines because uh, that's what the the, the planner should be, really care about. Okay, so if we start up here, uh, there's really nothing here. <laughs> to label along this this proposed line here. There's just not anything there. It's just kind of repairing woodland along a river. Okay. Um, but down here, uh, we do we do have a few things. So uh, we have a, an existing access road and a, a little stub of a driveway, but there's not a whole lot. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, we'll, we'll create some M leaders. And so we're just going to say um, uh, proposed boundary runs along uh, edge of pavement. Okay, and that's obviously not on the right layer or scale, so let's fix that. So we're going to put this on survey boundary text. And we are going to make it, uh, let's see, where's my scale? Overall scale is going to be 60. Text height is going to be a tenth. I like my landing gap to be 0 0.5. And I probably have a M liter style somewhere that I'm not using. Okay, and this will be dosis regular. Okay, so... <clears throat> Looks like I need my landing distance to be a little, a little bigger than that. Okay, and then um, we're going to go ahead and wrap that. Okay, and then we'll just do another uh, quick label here. And we're going to uh, grab this leader. We're going to move it up here. And we are going to give that the architectural tick, which I like for, um, I like that for area leaders. Okay, and so we're going to say um, existing access road. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here. I'll say existing driveway, and then I'm going to put in uh, parentheses, not in use. Okay, so we got the access road and the driveway. Um, I don't know that I don't know that we need to label a, a whole lot of other stuff on here. You know, the planner may come back and say, "Hey, we want to see dimensions to these buildings and everything," but like this is an existing lot line. We're not we're not really changing that, um, and this is an existing lot line. So I don't know that we need to add a lot more than that. We'll we'll let the planning department tell me that they want to do that. Um, let's go ahead and pull this label over. 
and we're going to just put it right here on the actual river. That'll look a little nicer. Okay, so when we save that and then come into our site plan, um, you can see uh, this looks pretty good. I'll probably rotate that label 180. Uh, but I think the rest of this looks pretty good. So it looks way more like a site plan than what we had before. Um, it would be nice to move up the line types. Uh, so we'll, we'll want to do that. Uh, we're not going to put in um, any monument symbols because this isn't a boundary survey or title report metadata. Um, I might move my units node up. Uh, so this is going to be this is going to be pretty close to what we want. Uh, so I think we did an, we did an all right job, folks. Uh, so there you go. There's three videos on how to dress up a site plan for a lot line adjustment, and I appreciate you guys watching.